With the first overall pick in the 2022 MLW Draft, the Midwest Mallards select Jordan Robles, pitcher, Mid-Atlantic Wiffle. All right, boys, let's get into it. Last week, Major League Wiffle Ball unveiled the 2022 draft class. Eight teams, eight picks, but it's safe to say that one team's pick definitely stole the show. And as you just saw, that would be the Mallards signing Jordan Robles. Jordan Robles is an East Coast icon and one of the most well-respected wiffle ball players in the country across the board. He is a Palisades WBL champion, a Golden Stick Yard national champion, and three-time MAW champion. Most recently, you might know him from his tenure with the Phenoms, or perhaps you've seen him with his own franchise, Voodoo, as they battle it out in Mid-Atlantic. Throughout his career, Jordan has had one extremely consistent trait. He plays everywhere. Over the years, I've found that sections of the WIFS community can be very unwilling to go out of their comfort zone and try out a different league or style of play than that which they're accustomed to. But Jordan has never been that guy. Just last year, Jordan played a full MAW season while playing in Golden Stick. He also attended the NWLA tournament and the Premier League Challenger tournament in Las Vegas, and of course, the United Wiffleball National Championship in October. Taking it further back, in 2019, Jordan attended MLW's Battle of Boston tournament, and, well, you saw how that one went. And that's it! Jordan Robles, folks! Paul Cook would be proud. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's safe to say Jordan's MLW tenure will start on very solid footing, considering he won the first MLW event he ever played in. And it's that winning mindset that I think makes him such a valuable asset for the team that picked him up, the Mallards. It's not a secret around the league that the Mallards franchise has been in decline the past few years. Last year, they finished with the worst record in team history at 4-11. After a tough year for the Mallards faithful, fans can now hope that Jordan will provide that spark to open a new chapter for the team. Jordan is definitely more than capable of doing this, and I think the chemistry between him and team captain Tommy Coughlin will be lightning in a bottle that is conducive to leading a winning team. Both of these guys are extremely competitive, but have a very controlled sense of aggression. They don't get rattled and have the skill to combine with that to absolutely overpower the competition. Obviously, I don't really think that there's too much talent-wise you can critique Jordan about. I will say that hitting in the league might take a game or two to adjust to due to the unmodified yellow bats, but mainly the pitching distance from rubber to strike zone, which is significantly shorter in MLW compared to the other leagues that Jordan competes in. I will say though that out the gate, Jordan will be a force pitching wise. And to see that, all we have to do is look at his past success and events that style wise are pretty comparable to MLW, that being NWLA. Even though NWLA is fast pitch and MLW is more medium pitch, I do think it's a pretty fair comparison. Looking back to 2019, Jordan threw 17 innings, only giving up one run, and most impressively, only walking one batter. To put it simply, having to face Jordan with a skinny bat, especially one that isn't modified to have an extended handle, is an absolute nightmare for a hitter. To sum everything up, in the sport of whiffs, Joran is at a level that a very small pool of guys are at. I'm excited to see him bring that talent to MLW. I think it's great for the league, and I think it's a great pairing of Midwest and East Coast. Like I've said before on the channel, the amount of unity we've seen in whiffs over the past few years has been incredible, and this is yet another part of that unison. As for the Mallards, the rebuild is in full swing. After signing Robles, they traded for Ben Wilson from the Diamondbacks. Hopefully this will be yet another piece of the puzzle put together for the team. If you are a Mallards fan, you have a lot to look forward to this season. And if you're just a fan of whiffs in general, definitely join me in looking forward to watching Jordan this year in MLW and the league as a whole. It's going to be another awesome season of wiffle ball at the Meadows. Well, I'll cut right to the chase. I know you and I have been talking, but it is officially official. We drafted you earlier today at number one overall, so I'm super stoked to have you part of the team and uh, part of MLW. I'm excited to be playing in front of the biggest audience in all of Wiffle Ball, the biggest league in the world.
world and um buy the roleplays jersey mlwverse.com buy it twice i can't wait midwest mallard fans look forward to a championship this season next season every season after i'm hyped can't wait the wins are coming i'm so excited and uh, looking forward to seeing you in a few weeks man Tommy, always do your genius. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. And those are my thoughts on the MLW 2022 number one draft pick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it got you pumped for the summer whiff season, which is quickly approaching. If you happen to be new to my channel, well, first of all, I'm happy to have you. And my name is Ben, and I make content covering whiffs from across the country, as well as vlogs, interviews, and much more. New videos come out every Friday, and if that sounds like something you would enjoy, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe, and also leave a comment telling me what you think of this signing down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at WiffleStatement, where I am very active and plan to be the rest of the summer. And speaking of Twitter, if you're not familiar with Jordan and would like to follow his crazy summer of whiffs coming up, I've linked Jordan's socials down below, so you can definitely follow him and the plastic madness that goes along with him. Going to wrap up the video here, boys. Hope you have a great day. Get out there and play some whiffs, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Goodbye.